In terms of the proposal mooted in the Union Budget 2021-22, a new developmental financial institution is to be set up in India to finance large infrastructure projects which are currently not being financed adequately by the commercial banks in India due to the uh, asset liability mismatches and other kinds of risks which the commercial banks are not able to cope to the extent it is necessary. As a result, uh, it's quite uh, uh, heartening that uh, National Bank for Financing Infrastructure and Development Bill has been passed by the parliament to set up the Developmental Financial Institute in India. Uh, and it is not for the first time that we are having developmental financial institutes in India. In fact, they have been there for uh, uh, quite some time and um, uh, we had uh, developmental financial institutes uh, such as uh, IDBI, the SIDB, then uh, we had uh, ICICI and um, uh, we have as of now the Exim Bank and uh, uh, other developmental financial institutions which have been operating in India quite, for quite some time. But uh, in uh, 1997, Reserve Bank of India has set up a committee uh, which is uh, a working group under the chairmanship of uh, Mr. S. H. Khan, uh, the then uh, uh, chairman of uh, IDBI Bank. Uh, who has gone into the uh, difference between the commercial banks and the developmental financial institutes and uh, the concept of universal bank has been mooted uh, to uh, remove the divide between the commercial banks and the developmental financial institutions as a result of which IDBI got converted into a commercial bank, ICICI has been converted into a commercial bank and um, uh, the divide between the uh, developmental financial institutions and the commercial banks have been narrowed and uh, the concept of universal bank has come into operations. Since then, commercial banks have been equally active in financing the developmental uh, projects in India. Uh, the peculiarities of uh, financing infrastructure are very challenging for the commercial banks because uh, they require a huge uh, funding that is a very large uh, exposure uh, will be involved for the commercial banks. The second thing is the commercial banks by nature are having uh, short duration funds with them whereas the loans for the infrastructure demand uh, for longer duration where the gestation periods are very large and uh, quite often because of the time lag there could be time overruns, cost overruns and maybe the project timelines will get extended and uh, commercial banks will find it very difficult to fund them and uh, commercial banks will be uh, facing the um, risks of asset liability mismatches and the interest rate risks that they need to cope up during their uh, operations. Uh, so, uh, to um, uh, mitigate those risks, uh, many of the commercial banks moderate their exposure to infrastructure and when we are uh, contemplating to explore the full potentiality of growth of uh, um, infrastructure in India, it is necessary to pump required funds uh, into these projects so that they can come up very fast and development can happen. Uh, as a result of which uh, it has now been uh, proposed that a developmental financial institute will be exclusively set up for the purpose of uh, financing large projects and uh, initially there will be a um, uh, capital of rupees 20,000 crores that will be infused by the government uh, into the developmental financial institute and subsequently private participation will be uh, invited uh, uh, to strengthen the uh, DFI. Now this DFI is intended to finance large projects and they will be 
providing uh, fund based uh, facilities non fund based business facilities and they will be coordinating with commercial banks in india to ensure that uh, working capital requirements of these infrastructure projects are met by the commercial banks from time to time and there will be a coordinating link between the two kinds of uh, institutions so that the real synergy can be uh, harnessed to uh, develop infrastructure in india now uh, way forward uh, in the next 3 uh, years uh, it is proposed to make dfi capable to finance uh, around rupees 5 trillion into the infrastructure sector and that will uh, take the infrastructure to a next level so that uh, india is able to meet the requirements of a 5 trillion economy which we are now contemplating to achieve soon now uh, similar developmental financial institutions are also operating at the state levels where the state finance corporations and state industrial development corporations are also operating at the micro level where the district level infrastructure state level infrastructures are also funded by these institutions and uh, when we put together the uh, synergy of all these institutions uh, which are currently operating then uh, i think we will be in a better position to uh, harness the full potentiality and um, maybe uh, way forward uh, the commercial banks will also pick up some capability to uh, finance the uh, infrastructure projects of um, uh, medium size so that uh, both of them can work together uh, over a period of time uh, now this developmental financial institution is specially designed uh, to access long term funds from the market through different routes and also through foreign resources overseas funds uh, their funding um, uh, mode may not necessarily be the way the commercial banks augment their resources uh, commercial banks normally augment their uh, resources from deposits uh, whereas these developmental financial institutions normally uh, harness the uh, funds from the market through uh, debt resources and also the capital resources now as and when the private enterprise enters into the dfi uh, role uh, then the capacity of dfi can be enhanced to cope with the new requirements of uh, these uh, infrastructure projects and th such institutions uh, will be in a better position to manage the risks of asset liability Uh, management uh, which the commercial banks are not able to uh, fully uh, take care of the uh, alm uh, risks uh, because of the very nature of inflows and outflows of funds so when the resources are uh, for a shorter duration the deployment can also be for a shorter duration uh, and hence uh, it's very difficult for these institutions to uh lend for uh, 10 years or 15 years where the projects are for longer durations uh, for 5 years and above it becomes difficult for the commercial banks so uh, the specific purpose why dfi at this point of time is to ensure that the commercial banks which have slowed down their exposure to the large corporate sector and are increasingly uh, shifting their focus on retail segment uh, to uh, align with the asset liability management systems of the banks uh, so the large projects are suffering for want of uh, funds for want of um, uh, funding resources and uh, at this point of time uh, dfi will be able to meet the requirements of these uh, projects and they will be in a better position to ensure that the full um, synergy of infrastructure can be 
uh, harnessed and uh, there will be uh, roads ports bridges and uh, uh, other uh, infrastructure whether whether it is aviation sector surface transport or sea sea transport all these uh, large projects can be executed uh, much speedily and they will not be facing the um, dearth of financial resources. So, uh, it is a very timely initiative that uh, DFI has been set up uh, uh, now and uh, when it becomes operationalized, uh, I think the benefit of this, uh, the economy will be able to harness in the next uh, 3 to 5 years uh, by when uh, the DFI will be adequately strengthened to uh, fund uh, in large measure uh, so that the burden on the commercial banks will also come down and um, uh, banks will be in a better position to meet the requirements of working capital needs of these projects and um, the capital requirements and large investments will be taken care by the DFI. So, a coordinated role between these two kinds of institutions will be quite beneficial to the uh, economy and uh, we can foresee the uh, development of uh, infrastructure in the country in the years to come. So, uh, we will see as uh, the um, institution uh, takes shape and uh, the NABFID that is National Bank for Financial Financing Infrastructure um, de Development uh, uh, takes shape and uh, it uh, starts uh, uh, dispensing credit to the uh, intended uh, projects. Uh, we will be in a better position to uh, um, experience the functioning of these uh, institutions. So, um, uh, very good initiative as far as uh, setting up the DFI at this point of time is concerned. And uh, now that uh, we are, uh, we have been uh, very badly hurt by the pandemic, I think uh, we will be able to cope and come out of this uh, uh, crisis and uh, get going as far as implementing large projects are concerned with the help of the DFI and its resources. So, uh, let us see uh, as we go forward. I uh, thank you very much for uh, being with me in and I would request you to kindly post your comments on the comment section. Uh, keep sharing, keep subscribing and uh, let us uh, uh, learn more as we go forward with new editions of the videos. Thank you so much.